of a minute match. Yeah. Then it's going to be like, yeah. <laughs> Post match, we cut to commentary for the closing summary and we set up next week a uh, one night tournament for the NWA or the TNA. I, I don't know which one they say, but for the tag team titles. The, the NWA. It's tag NWA. Team tag, yeah. Okay. Also, Jeff Jarrett and K Crush versus Scott Hall and Brian Christopher. Also, Shamrock versus the 6'9", 300-pound disciple of the new church, Malice. Uh, will Ken Shamrock be a two-week champion? Find out next week. And we close on a recap shot of AJ with the exhibition title. Ooh. Bell to bell to bell to bell to bell. 53 minutes and 58 seconds of wrestling on this hour and 45-minute show. Well, that's a lot better than last time, I'm pretty sure. Right? Uh, no. Why oh, no, was that less? It's less. It's less. Wow. It's about, what is it, seven, uh, eight, oh, wait, other way, six minutes. <laughs> it's about, yeah, it's about six minutes shorter. Uh, but I don't know, probably, I would say more entertaining, though. No, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I yeah. felt like there was at least better wrestling. So, yeah, uh, what are your thoughts about the whole show? Uh, it felt like a continuation of the first show. Yeah. Um, the order was probably reversed i don't know why the x division should have been somewhere in the beginning to get me hyped up put the women in the middle where it was and then have those legends finish it off with what was it hall and jarrett i thought that was really where they started with hall and jarrett yeah. and i wasn't into it because i think i needed to get hyped up for it right. i needed that x division to hype me up for wrestling for me to watch these two guys slow down and work the crowd yeah. i didn't i didn't enjoy that so yeah they they need to tweak the card for me and get better at camera work. <laughs> right. You know, that's, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they did with that Jared match, if they, if they were like, let's just do it now while we know how he is instead of waiting an hour and giving him an hour to get lost and get drunk. Yeah, it might have been a half thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, whatever else he might be doing. Let's, let's do it now. And then we don't have to worry about what he does because it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts are, so... There is a tag team tournament next week, which may or may not include. Yeah, they didn't. Did they announce Paul anyone? And Christopher versus Jarrett and Crush, because both times they announced both of those events very close to each other. So it, it, I don't. I feel like it won't, but it really seems like that match is part of the tag tournament. I feel like it's just going to be a tag team night, and they're going to be the main event. But well, I mean, there's also going to be other tag team matches happening. Right. Right, because, uh, you know, they, I mean, it's got to be. There's only so many matches you can have in the card, and it's a tournament and another tag match, so it's like... Uh, but, yo, uh, like, my big takeaway from this whole event, mm -hmm. honestly, is I have never in my life seen a wrestler go from one week kayfabe but one hour real time from looking like a chump with a forgettable name to one of the best tag team wrestlers I have seen in years... Chris Harris completely turned around my opinion on him. Just needs to wear jeans, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what he did, when he did it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's really good as a tag team wrestler, from what I saw. Yeah. And it seems like you could probably yeah, put because it... last week he was in a battle royal, wasn't yeah. that it? Yeah. yeah. And then this Nothing week, impressive. when you let him do his thing, and I was like, yo, that thing he's good at. He's really good at that thing. I remember being a huge, what is it, um, AM AMW? A Right. America's Most Wanted. I remember being a huge yeah. mark for them right. in the very yeah. beginning of this when I was watching as a kid. Exactly. Or yeah. however old I was, teenager. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. The only other thoughts I have about the show is uh, if, if next week contains another 30 minute plus multi man, multi fall main event, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be real pissed. And then we didn't mention it, so I just want to mention it right now. Uh, Don West is dressed like Island Dream Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> this is what I wrote down, although upon review, I'm not sure if I fully agree with it. Uh, Ed Ferrara is dressed like the Manamana puppet. No. Did, wasn't he wearing black? He was wearing the same, I think, fuzzy shirt, but it was black, and he was still wearing the same... He changed his attire, like, completely, I think. I think he still had uh, the leather pants, I thought. Oh, okay. I could be remembering wrong, but I think he had, like, a fuzzy black shirt instead, yeah. so he was wearing all black. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that Manamana puppet note I have, but... Island Dream Jazz. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and Tanae is still a dork in his tuxedo. He's, yeah, full tux. Never <laughs> changes. He goes home and he takes off his head. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Puts it back in the recharge station. All right, so why would you make this? We already kind of said it, which it, it feels like they were building to something that they weren't building to. 
Yeah, well, to be fair, th- <laughs> this, is, this is the second, this is part two of the same day, so. Right, yeah, and that's <laughs> so, the thing. This, the question should be, why would you continue making it? Right, yeah, <laughs> well, that's the thing, is, is it's, it, it's the end of the first taping, and not only that, a lot of these celebrities, like Toby Keith and the NASCAR guys, we're not going to see them again. So we have to blow off whatever they have right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ha- it, it, that's why it feels Everything like a blow-off thing. Yeah. It needs to be, yeah. And the unfortunateness of them running pay-per-views is it's hard to really establish a super card then because everything's a pay-per-view. Yes. So what is really time? You can only just do like week to week and then what? You can do three weeks, you can do five weeks, but you can't build two something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so guess... The next card, what, what's going to be on it? I mean, tag team tournament. So at base, three matches. Uh, we're going to have another midget two match. Two teams versus two I teams. I want another midget match. So that's, we have, and then, well, actually, because we have the at least three matches for the tag team tournament. Okay. And then maybe a fourth tag team match of Jarrett and Hall and all that, if that's not in that three match tournament. Mm-hmm. So that's four. And then we're also going to have Shamrock versus Malice, the NWA title. That's okay. five. So and, they already have five matches. And they're not going to be double booked the next week because they're going to tape two shows. So I still think that's plenty of room for a midget match. Okay. I want a midget match. They're going to have a six ma- six matches midget match. Um, A random X division match? Another X match. Yeah. Okay. Because that's going to be hard because... Because that's seven matches. And oh, then, yeah. And then there's still like, what, at least three segments we have to do? And those three segments are probably going to be... uh. Well, Alicia's during a match, so but Alicia has got to be showing up again. Oh yeah, we got to see her again. Um, that could be the X Division match. Miss or TNA. Really oh yeah, we'll have. You got to do something. Like we'll have a women's segment. Yeah. yeah, and uh, like you said, maybe Puppet will have something in there, and then I feel like the New Church should have a promo on the next yeah, show. Yeah, to set up Malice. I feel like they should have one promo. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe um, what's his face? We'll have a quick match. Um, slash. And so he'll have a promo like after that. Oh, that's just could for be the new it. church. Yeah, then that's like nine matches or something like that. He could and be part then... of the exhibition match. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a, look. So far, that's a packed card. If that's the case, that is a packed card. I don't think it's gonna be that packed. I Me think either. it's gonna be similar <laughs> to what we just saw, which was like ten segments. Which some of those segments being a recap segment makes sense to me. All right, yeah, so that was the show. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, you know, share it with your friends and uh, your family or your enemies or dogs in the street you meet. Whatever, just share it with everybody. Go ahead. It's not a crime to share. No, it's not. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. It depends what the government feels about it. Um, you just Give it the whole like and five-star review and all that stuff. And, uh, and thanks for enjoying it. The intro music is still an edited version of Falling Off Your Love by Killed Paris, which now includes the NWA TNA entrance theme, I guess. For Brother Skyler, I am Jimmy Time. Please remember that without mistakes of others, we'd be forced to endure the pain of failure ourselves. Support the arts. The preceding recording is for entertainment purposes only, and the views expressed in this podcast do not necessarily represent the views of Why Would You Make This, its owners, employees, or associates.